Hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudelam. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Intuition. Uh, class series on biology for engineers uh, for only computer science and engineering stream. Uh, the class videos, the PPT which I prepared uh, for uh, my reference, converted to PDF uh, that will be available in the description box of uh, the, my YouTube channel. Each video's uh, description box you can check it up uh, and uh, tell others also that it is available. Uh, don't you know, not ask me separate uh, to send it. Uh, you can download it from there. It will be made it available for download. Okay, so this is the fifth class series, uh, fifth video of uh, module one, uh, module one uh, of uh, the computer science and stream BBOC 407. Uh, for other streams uh, uh, like electronic stream, mechanical stream, civil stream, uh, we have BBOK 407. So difference is there. So this is only for computer science stream. Other stream also you can see uh, the same uh, playlist in my YouTube channel BBOK407 uh, playlist you can find the videos uh, yet to upload I have just started ok so you can check it uh, by the time you, you, know, you see the video uh, it will be available there ok so this is the syllabus for uh, BBOC407 module 1 uh, introduction structural function of cell stem cells uh, biomolecules properties functions of carbohydrate nucleic acid protein lipids uh, then uh, enzymes, uh, vitamins and hormones, this much uh, it should be, to be covered in this one. So all the four uh, uh, classes uh, including introduction to biomolecular I already covered. Now properties and functions uh, that is remaining. Okay, uh, some spelling mistake I thought, it's not there. Okay, so these are the course outcome which is mentioned in the syllabus. So based on that course outcome, uh, this is very important nowadays for student because the uh, education is student centric now. So students should know what what is the outcome of uh, study that particular uh, subject. Okay, so I am covering today's class video covering on the properties and functions of carbohydrates. Okay, so for that a uh, question is friend, what are the primary functions of carbohydrates in uh, living organisms and uh, uh, can you provide examples of their different properties that contribute to these functions? Okay, it covers the course outcome uh, 1, CO1, and the level of question uh, that is revised below taxonomy level question is 2, and uh, it is 5 marks uh, because properties uh, uh, it can give, be given 2 marks uh, and functions of operators can be given 3 marks. Uh, roughly, it's my this one, uh, slight changes. Uh, it can, uh, can be possible with uh, other teachers uh, of the how they think based on the okay so roughly i can say this is the uh, uh, mark distribution now properties and functions of carbohydrate properties uh, first one that is the uh, where i reached okay so directly it went to solubility Okay, solubility. Okay, before solubility, I wanted to add the chemical composition. I added, I think, about deleted. Okay, now we'll add now only. Okay, so first one that is the chemical composition properties in that. Uh, uh, wait a second. Okay. Okay, so chemical composition I uh, added. Okay, this I want to give to you paper. When I want to make it. Okay. Okay, so now I can explain it. Uh, got the material. Uh, copy pasted. Okay, so chemical composition. Uh, uh, first one that is they are organic compounds. Carbohydrates uh, they belongs to a class of molecules uh, which called the organic compounds, uh, which means they mainly contains carbon atoms and uh, carbon atoms in their uh, structure. So any molecule which contains carbon we classify them as organic compounds. And uh, the elements uh, and the ratios uh, are so important. Uh, the carbohydrates are composed of three main elements mainly the uh, carbon, 
carbon which is the backbone of the molecule uh, which is essential uh, uh, for uh, forming the structure of uh, the carbohydrates then hydrogen it is often bonded to the carbon uh, which contribute to the overall structure and influences how the molecule interacts with the water and the oxygen atom uh, which is primarily present in the form of a hydroxyl group OH group oxygen combined with the hydrogen OH functional group is uh, formed uh, which is which give carbohydrate there that uh, water loving uh, nature that's why carbohydrates are, uh, are, are, are dissolve it can it can dissolve in water or they can interact with the water so the ratio of these elements in in a basic carbohydrate molecule it is uh, 1 to 2 to 1 okay so one carbon two hydrogen one oxygen uh, that is the ratio given however this ratio uh, this 1 to 2 to 1 ratio it may vary uh, if, uh, if if the carbohydrates is better complicated uh, uh, complex nature carbohydrates may not be having the same exact structure then comes the monomers monomers they are the uh, uh, building blocks uh, uh, of uh, carbohydrates uh, they are constructed from smaller unit called the monosaccharides uh, which are uh, simple sugars and uh, the most basic form and they are the most basic form of the carbohydrate example if you take it is glucose fructose galactose uh, they are some monosaccharides they play a very crucial role in the energy production and the cellular process then we'll move on to the solubility uh, mainly water solubility uh, most carbohydrates are highly soluble in water because uh, the uh, carbohydrates are having a, a functional group called hydroxyl group uh, and because of that hydroxyl group they are hydrophilic in nature they can interact with uh, water hydro hydro means water hydrophilic means water loving uh, philic is something loving and uh, phobic is uh, something hated or uh, fear Okay, so hydrophilic nature of uh, carbohydrate is due to the hydroxyl functional group present in carbohydrate which can uh, interact with the water molecule. They can form hydrogen bonds, that is the main uh, term to be used. It can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule. Okay, so these hydrogen bonds, uh, they create an attraction between uh, the carbohydrate and water, making them very readily dissolve and uh, participate in various other biological functions with the water based environments in living organism as i said earlier our uh, entire body the main part is water only so carbohydrates can uh, interact with that and form a uh, different now the classification uh, it can be classified into simple sugars uh, like uh, monosaccharides and uh, uh, disaccharides or it can be classified as little bit complex that is uh, polysaccharides the monosaccharides uh, the example and uh, example i can say that through glucose uh, sucrose they are comes under the simple sugars uh, and polysaccharides uh, glycogen you know, this extra comes under the um, uh, uh, complex polysaccharides okay now uh, classification uh, uh, classification is over now the functions okay uh, okay, before go, going to the function, some of the uh, additional properties are so there, like for carbohydrate, they, they act as the energy source, they even act as a dietary fiber, and they have a, uh, in between the carbohydrate molecules, the bond, na the name of the bond we call it as glycosidic bond. So these are some of the extra uh, property can be added under the properties. Now function, uh, energy source. The primary role of uh, carbohydrate is to become uh, the energy source for the living organism uh, and then uh, the conversion how the energy is converted uh, to ATP the monosaccharides uh, particularly the glucose they are broken down through uh, the process called cellular respiration uh, which generate the ATP ATP means adenosine triphosphate and is the universal energy uh, currency of cells energy currency so we call it as the normal uh, to pay purchase something uh, uh, we have to give so rupees or dollars uh. likewise if you want energy you purchase atp or give atp adenosine triphosphate 
so like that that is the universal energy currency of cells powering the uh, essential processes like the the muscle contraction uh, the nerves uh, that impulse transmission uh, uh, protein synthesis uh, everything uh, energy needed those energy is supplied by by uh, monosaccharide convert gen generated into, into uh, adenosine triphosphate now energy source and now energy storage energy storage the uh, in case of animals uh, in form of glycogen we call it as glycogen storage so when the body in, in, ingests more high carbohydrates then it can use immediately the excess glucose it is converted into glycogen for storage so glycogen is primarily stored in the liver and muscles uh, when energy demand increases uh, the body can break down uh, glycogen back into glucose to meet uh, those needs so if some uh, people are little bit fatty uh, don't uh, make fun of them uh, they have extra energy storage uh, in that way we can read uh, but too much extra energy storage is not needed uh, little bit uh, okay too muscular body uh, they uh, suddenly if they want uh, some energy they have to eat only there is no energy storage little bit like me so see you can see little bit like me is okay uh, so uh, in case of uh, if i want to go for a long uh, trip uh, without a uh, food you know food supply so i can uh, have uh, energy back backup okay so knowing this uh, biological uh, function i can survive people uh, will not laugh at me because i'm little bit fatty not that much muscular as such muscles are there but a little bit more fatty not fat as such okay so um, starch in case of uh, plants so starch also we heard uh, we eat starch uh, to run away after running uh, no no we don't eat starch that is glucose by mistake uh, got confused uh, because food only are thinking about food don't okay so in plants the the surplus glucose it is converted into starch uh, which is a complex carbohydrate and it is uh, stored as 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 storage okay starch it is mainly stored in, in the seeds and uh, fruits which serve as the energy reserve for the plant during the, their growth their uh, reproduction or the periods of uh, the dormancy means plants are so undergo a long sleep uh, if uh, the environmental conditions are not good they have to sleep uh, mainly in the golden uh, re regions uh, it will be fully covered with uh, uh, the ice and all that time uh, it goes uh, dormancy sleeping stage so sleeping stage it needs food uh, so that starch can be used that about uh, the carbohydrate uh, as energy storage uh, in animals as well as uh, separately in plants uh, then structure uh, support cellulose in uh, in plants uh, structure support uh, cellulose uh, which is a complex carbohydrate uh, it, that is a major component of the plant cell walls that gives the structure uh, it provides the structural rigidity and support to plant tissues and allows the plants to stand upright and uh, maintain their shapes uh, so cellulose also play a role in uh, protecting uh, plants from the physical damage or, or uh, any other an animal which is coming to eat so uh, anybody cannot uh, break that uh, plants uh, that uh, cover uh, that surface water maybe okay so that about the a structural support then uh, transport of energy uh, sucrose uh, in plants actually uh, they are the carbohydrates uh, which serve as the primary transportable form of energy sucrose is synthesized in uh, leaves through the photosynthesis and then uh, transported through the plant to provide uh, energy for various processes in the uh, different tissues then comes uh, quick energy release uh, that mainly glucose so when uh, body requires a rapid energy source glucose is readily available it is a simple structure which allows for quick breakdown uh, through the cellular 
uh, respiration process which provides the immediate energy for uh, functions like uh, muscles activity or uh, brain function during uh, times of uh, high demand when it is needed immediately the carbohydrate in the form of glucose will be released as the energy then the metabolic regulation metabolic regulation uh, that blood blood sugar uh, regulation uh, carbohydrates play a very crucial role in uh, maintaining uh, the blood uh, sugar which is called as the glucose glucose level in uh, within a healthy range so the body has a mechanism to uh, to regulate the blood uh, sugar level by controlling the release of the glucose from from the liver and the uptake uh, uptake of the the glucose by cells uh, so, uh, some other points if you want if you want to add to this that is like uh, they can be used as battery fiber uh, while not directly providing the energy but uh, this uh, some carbohydrates uh, like the fiber uh, can contribute to the to the uh, the stomach uh, the gut gut gut's health as well as uh, supporting the digestive function they are also help to regulate the blood sugar level by slowing down the rate of carbohydrate absorption from the from the digestive tract as a fiber and the blood sugar they are also balancing the diet which includes a variety of carbohydrates along with the other essential nutrients which is crucial for the for the optimal health and, uh, and and for the well being so that's about uh, the properties and functions of carbohydrate pop uh, some points you got uh, to learn uh, thank you for uh, watching my youtube channel only request from my side is to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, support share these videos to others like the videos and uh, put some good comment thank you once again, uh, thank you. Uh, this is my YouTube channel name, my intuition 4865. My name is Dr. Prasad Pudhila and have a nice day.